Hi everyone, it's your girl Regina coming to you with another video. In today's video, we're going to do a 20 ounce sublimation snow globe tumbler, but we're going to make it into a lava lamp. That is correct. A sublimation 20 ounce glass lava lamp. That is what we're going to be making today. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to my channel. I shoot DIY videos as well as cruise tip videos every single week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you will not miss out. So some of the items that we're going to need for this project is we're going to need a tumbler. And I actually have these 20 ounce glass sublimation 20 ounce snow globe tumblers actually on my website they they um you can sublimate on them they auto, already comes with the hole drilled in the bottom because they are glass so if you want to try this project you can make them into a snow globe tumbler or you can make them into a lava lamp which is what i'm going to show you guys how to do today again you can find these on my website of SideHustleCreamCreations.com. While you're there, please support my channel by grabbing you one of my custom-made tumblers. I have over 50 to choose from, as well as different sublimation blanks. Your purchases will help our channel. So once you get your tumbler, you want to also have your design. I already printed my design out with my Eco Tank using sublimation ink. I actually printed on the ASUB 120 grid. ASUB did send me this pack to try out. I normally use the 125. So I just wanted to see the difference in the two. So for this project, I use the 120. Thank you ASUB for sending me a pack. From, from so far, the print printed out just fine. So I'm just super excited about that. It's nice and clear. No problems. The black is popping. The red is popping. So I'm super excited to see how it's going to go on the on to the tumbler. For this project, you're going to need some vegetable glycerin. I got it right off Amazon. Every All the products that you see today, I will leave a link in the description bar. Uh, some baby oil. I just grabbed this one right from Walgreens. You can get baby oil from anywhere. I got my alcohol ink because you're going to want to mix the color, which is today's lava lamp. I'm going to do in red because we, I'm doing a true crime decal. So you're going to need some alcohol ink to mix into your glycerin. And of course, you're going to need some UV resin to close the hole. Now for this project, I am going to do use the shrink wrap method. The reason why, and this is a tip for beginners or people who not have, or people who haven't sublimated on glass before, I do use the painter's tape method sometimes, but I also use the shrink wrap, it, shrink wrap method because with, when you're doing a new product, I, like I use the heat transfer warehouse sublimation oven, but I know it's people that use like, they use air fryers, they use confession ovens, they use the the mug, the mug presses, tumbler presses. So all these different um, equipment sometimes press different at diff different temperatures. With um, heat um, transfer warehouse sublimation oven, it goes by, by Celsius. So I can tell you to set your oven at 185 Celsius for eight minutes to sublimate onto this glass, but you might not even be using the same type of equipment that I'm using. So with the when you're using the shrink wrap method, you can, when you sublimate onto an item and you bake it, you should be able to see the design through um, um, the shrink wrap but when you're taking it out of the oven. So if you don't see your decal or whatever design that you're sublimating through the transfer, then you need to go ahead and put it back in the oven for a few more minutes. That's why I always recommend uh, the heat shrink method because even on my 20 ounce tumblers, you can see the design through the transfer or the shrink wrap once you finish baking it. And if you don't see that design through that paper, that means it's having sublimated completely and you need to pop it back in that oven for at least few more, a few more minutes. And with glass, sometimes my house be colder than the other. I don't know. Sometimes when I do glass tumblers, I do have to bake it for a few more minutes. I normally bake it at 185 Celsius for eight minutes, but sometimes I haven't baked it for 10 or 12 because I did not see the picture through my um 
my shrink wrap. But once I baked it a few more minutes, I could see the picture through the shrink wrap and I took it off and it was perfect. So that's just a tip if you are a beginner with sublimation, especially on glass. I'm not going to make this video real, real long. If you need a tutorial on how to uh, wrap a tumbler, just leave a message in the comment and in the, in the comments and I'll make sure that I do a full tutorial on how to shrink wrap. But for this video, I'm going to go ahead and pause it. I'm going to go ahead and shrink wrap it and pop it in the oven because we have to let this cup cool all the way down before we add our liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to get right back with you guys. Okay, you guys, I am back and I have sublimated my tumbler. I have let it cool all the way down. I have my true crime junkie decal on here and I am ready to add the liquid so we can turn it into a lava lamp. I am so excited to do this. This is going to be the very first time I'm turning this into a lava lamp. But the good thing about it is, is because I'm using red lava. So when it passes down to through the red, it should be super bright. So let's get started. I'm going to push the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing, mixing up the liquid and everything. And we're going to get it into this lamp. Okay, everyone, I'm ready to get started. Okay, so the liquid is a two to one ratio, meaning that one is for the glycerin and the two is for the baby oil. So basically, you can just take your measuring tape. This glass is eight ounces. It's eight, eight inches tall. And you can kind of like at the 2.6 is going to be your mark. Well, how far you want to fill it up with the glycerin, which is going to be what we're going to mix the red in. So when I say two to one, so this, this part right here is the red. And then one, two is the baby oil. One to two parts, okay? So I hope you guys understand, you know, that whole explanation but it's three one you want to split the glass up into three one two three and the bottom part you're going to start off with the red i just put the little line if i go over a little bit it's not going to do nothing to it but that's kind of like a little way that i kind of like measure out my two to one ratios okay so i have my little glass that i normally mix up my glycerin in with my glitter and i don't know if you guys can see it it's actually some glitter still in the cup but i'm going to leave it there just put it in with it so I'm going to eyeball it and try to put enough in there that's going to give me my one part glycerin. And this is where I'm also going to be measuring out or adding my alcohol ink because I want it to be red. Okay. I also have me one of these syringes that I usually use when I make my lip gloss. I'm going to use it, hopefully, to make it easier to get the liquid into the hole. Again, this is my first time also doing the lava lamp. So we're going to do, we're doing this for the very first time together. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add my red alcohol ink. I got this little claw from the Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack, so they're really good for keeping mess down. So my red is looking really bloody, like I want it to look, since this is the theme is true crime. So the, the more alcohol ink you put in, the red it will be. I'm going to add just one or two more drops, and that's going to look fine to me. I'm just mixing the glycerin. Like I said, I got a little, some glitter chips in there, which is fine with me. I'm just making sure I mix it up really well, okay? There's nothing really harmful in this, anything that we're using today, so I didn't see any need for gloves. I'm just going to suck it out. I don't know why it's so hard. This is really hard to suck out, but it's coming up. 
got it all. It's been easier. Okay, so that is about uh, 50 cc's of liquid glycerin. I also got me a paper towel just in case for the mess. And it fits right into the hole. Let's see, where is the tape? Way around there. I'm going to just lean it over so it can start filling. Okay, everyone, I am back. And just for a tip for the next video, what I probably should have did was took this off and poured the liquid into it and then pressed it into the tumbler. But you live and you learn. This is our very first try. So what I did is now it's time to fill it up with baby oil. So what I did for the baby oil is these baby oil usually come with this little white piece. I just removed it. And I have some smaller pipettes. So I'm going to see will this work a little bit better, which is it does because it has a smaller tip. Sometimes you just have to use what you got around the house. And I remember that I had these. I don't know what I got them for, but I got quite a few. And because the tip is a lot smaller, it's a lot easier to use. I know you guys don't want to see me just sitting feeling baby oil. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit past this. Okay, everyone, I got my UV tower <laughs> lamp set up. So... I'm going to just wipe this down one more time. And I forgot to mention, I'm going to put a dot over the hole before I add the UV resin. Um, again, I will leave everything that I use in the description bar. And again, you want to definitely make sure that you have gotten that baby oil off the top. I am so ready to see this work. So I have one of my little dots. And I put it completely over the hole. Okay, you guys, I actually did 120 seconds under this UV resin lamp five times. And it is dry, it is completely dry.